Afternoon all, Padge here. Welcome back to a brand new juice review. I've um, not done a juice review um, for Vape It Easy for a, a fair few months now, but I've just brought out some new summertime um, flavours. Uh, and Matt Balster, uh, the owner proprietor of Vape It Easy down in Gloucester, and it's his own range as well, has kindly sent these up for review. Um, three flavours in the, this new range. Scrumpy Cider, which is uh, his interpretation of a famous Dark Fruits Cider, which I'm looking forward to. Um, summertime Dew, and Money Shot. Um, not tried these ones yet, so I don't know what they are. I haven't looked at the flavour profiles either, because you know, from old, if you've been watching me for a long time, I do like to try and see whether or not I can pick up on the flavours and see how close I can get to what they actually are. Don't forget though, taste is very subjective um, and that's the beauty of vaping. What I like, someone else might not. And we all get something slightly different with flavour uh, profiles one way or the other. These are on the site, vapeiteasy.net. They're in eight, 18 pounds for 100 mils. Um, they are max vg liquids what matt is also doing at the moment or he's just brought out is a nicotine shot that's already got coulada within the actual nicotine shot so if you wanted to make these more of a of an icy sort of kick um which being summertime flavors would actually go down uh, extremely well and obviously the nick shots are there to be bought as well coulada ones or just the normal nicotine shots so it's 18 pound for the liquid itself and obviously you've got your nicotine shots on top um without further ado let's get on to trying some of this got the trusty drop rda brand new fresh cotton in there from the cotton candy company or whatever they're called it's actually quite a nice uh, wicking material this i do actually like to use it um Let's try Summer Dew. The Nick shots have already been added. Uh, I don't have the cool old Nick shots, I've just added the normal Nick shots to them. Um, this one is very fruity. It's getting an element of like a strawberry, sort of ripe red sort of berry fruits coming forward. Um, let's put some on this. As you can see, it's nice and thick. As I say, it's Max VG, so it's mainly designed for drippers and for tanks that have got huge uh, wicking air hole or wicking holes and wicking capability. Um, there we go. Put the top on. I've got it's a 0.37 coil. It's about 50 watts. Let's take a two. Ooh, summer, summer time. Have a vape and unwind. This people, it's fresh, it's vibrant. There's hints of strawberry, hints of maybe a melon or something in there as well on that initial uh, two. On the exhale, There's a nice, um, quite a nice sweet sort of bubblegum note going on in that, I think. And maybe a slight hint of uh, like cotton candy. Very fresh, very smooth. Strawberries. There's quite a few fruits in that. But they're the ones I'm picking up on, but... It's very, very fresh. It's fruity. I like that sort of bubblegum note on the exhale. It's not overpowering. It kind of marries up well with the fruits. Um, I can imagine this with the coulada added to it. It would be like a really fresh sort of fruit, sort of sloshy. And it's really nice. Vapor reduction is out of this world. Well, it's Max VG, so you're going to get thick dense clouds even at 50 watts but it's very good i love this one it's very tasty 
and it sits with you for quite some time afterwards, which is what I like. Let's try the money shot. Oh God, Pad, you're rude. You're rude. Anyway. Oh. Hints of lemon, hints of citrus, possibly. Let's have a... And what I've always found with uh, the Gloucester Glute range, uh, they're all sort of very clear liquids. There's no additives or colorings added to the liquids. And um, if you're using a good wicking material, um, I find I can just do one half of the other, especially when it's nice and clear. It doesn't cling to the coil. Um, so this is the money shot. Let's take a two. Ooh. Lemonade is what I'm predominantly getting with a hint of something else in the background. It's really nice. This might have a touch of grapefruit or something in it because it's got that sort of uh, acidity up to an undertone running past the lemonade and it's got like and don't panic when I say this it's got almost like a floral-esque very very faint subtlety to it as well almost like there's like maybe a juniper berry or something that just gives it that little hint of um, something else just to that just to offset the lemonade mm. now that is delicious again with the coolada in, in on top of that that is a real real good good sort of what i'm going to class is as almost like a vintage lemonade like a cloudy sort of lemonade mixed in with a little bit of grapefruit possibly i don't know i mean i might be completely wrong but this is this is what i'm interpreting um it's it's, it's deep it's dense it's sweet but not overly sweet that is superb and that it's a it's a kind of flavour I've not I've not had, I've not tried before, and it is it's blended extremely well, extremely well. As you can see, look, the coil is still nice and clean, and nice and dry. So uh, let's, without further ado, get on to scrumpy cider. That's a real naff accent. <laughs> No, I, I like my dark fruit cider, I must admit. And the smell I'm getting is is bang on to what, when you open up a can, is that sort of dark berries, that, that real sort of sweetness aroma coming from it. Now this, especially with a little bit of coolada in, I would imagine this would be the, the, the nuts mutts. The mutts, nuts, even. Let's take a toot, people. Bang on. Wow. That is superb. You get that dark fruit on the initial intake, that initial two, just as if you were drinking a dark fruit cider. It's dark, it's sweet, you've got the berries in there. And then on the exhale, you almost get, when you do, it's like, a, it's almost like a slight fizz on to the, to the background of it, to the undertone of it. Now, if you've never had a dark fruit cider and you just had normal cider, normal apple cider, you do get a very strong tasting um, cider flavor, if you like. Uh, with dark fruits, um, which is probably why it's so dangerous with me, is it, 
it tastes more like fizzy, fizzy black currant. Um, you, you don't have that strong sort of cider-esque sort of flavor running through the drink in itself, in my opinion. Um, you can taste the cider in this, which I love, which is what it's all about. You get the dark fruits in there, the black currants, the, you know, the dark berries, and it's, it's superb. Another three banging, banging flavors out of vaporeasy.net, down in Gloucester, and from Matt's own Gloucester, ye old Gloucester Glute range. Check them out, vaporeasy.net. This has been my review, my interpretation of the three liquids. Thanks ever so much to Matt and his uh, staff down at Vapor Easy for getting these to me um, as quickly as they did. Uh, have a great Sunday, great bank holiday weekend, whatever's left of it for yourselves. I'm back to work tomorrow. As always, I've been the Padge. You've been gorgeous. Bye for now.